Hey guys, how's it going? This is Ben from Brooklyn. Hey Ben from ben Brooklyn. From Brooklyn, what's going on? Well, um, let me give you a little bit of background info before I uh, get into the the car uh, issue. Okay? Yeah, sure. All right. So um, I've been driving since I was 17. I'm 35 years old now, and the whole time I've been driving, I've always driven standard transmission. Uh, and one of the things that uh, I, you know, that you obviously always have to do whenever you drive stick shift, if you pull up at a red light, uh, obviously you can't keep the car into, you know, first gear. You you have to put it in neutral, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Right. So last year, uh, my wife and I decided to to get a new vehicle. She does not drive stick shift, and we wanted to be able to get a car that she could actually drive. So we decided on a 2010 Toyota Yaris, which is lovely, wonderful, and for the most part works great. But I have a little habit, and the habit is this. Uh, when I'm driving this vehicle, oh, I know uh, when do. I pull up at a red light, you put it in um, neutral. I put the car in park. It's kind of one of these habits that developed, you know, while I was driving stiff shift. Yeah. Now, for my wife, it drives her absolutely insane and she's convinced that i'm going to break the vehicle because you're putting it in park because i'm putting it in park at red light she's saying yeah. you're putting it in park so frequently that you know you're just going to wear down the transmission mm, no well no she's you, wrong. no she's wrong but but you you might wear out uh, other components you could wear out the transmission but you might wear out other components like the axles okay you know because every time you you transition from park to drive you go through reverse so you try to turn those things backward for a split second. So, and gotcha. then and then you go into drive, and they go the other way. Mm -hmm. And you know you do that a few hundred thousand times, <laughs> and it adds up. Yeah, but it's gotcha. gonna gotcha. So, so, it's gonna be a couple of hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah, I would I would say, and it may it may do nothing. I mean, you know, back in the old days mm -hmm. when engines idled at like nine hundred and fifty RPM, yeah, you would do a lot more damage. Now this thing probably idles at five hundred. Okay. And it's got a tiny little motor, so you're not uh -huh. hitting those those uh, drive train components with that big jolt of power. So don't mm -hmm. worry about it. So don't worry, but but uh, but I am concerned that you can't get over this, Ben. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, hold on here. There's one piece of information that I have not told you yet. Ah, uh -huh. go ahead. And, and that and that is that uh, about six months ago, I started having difficulty. Say one out of every hundred times I put the thing in park. If I'm at a red light, I have a difficult time actually getting it back into drive. Now, keep in mind, this is a 2010 Toyota Yaris. It's practically straight off the lot. Um, so th there is a possibility that my wife is right. I may be slowly breaking the vehicle. Mm. Is, is this a possibility based on what you just told me? No, I, I don't think so. No, I, I think the trouble getting it out is that you're not stepping on the brake pedal firmly enough because you have to do that to unlock the shifter. Ah. Ah. So that could be it. It could be that I'm just not pushing on the brake hard enough. Yeah. Could well be. Yeah, I, I think what you need to do is tie your right hand behind your back. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, not and, you, I... and you need to, so, so if you're going to take this thing and put it in park, you're going to have to do it with your tongue. <laughs> gotcha, yeah. Well, you know, I, I could Jimi Hendrix it there. You know what I'm saying? You That's could. a possibility. What else do you do that annoys your wife? I'm concerned here. <laughs> Very true. And I'm true. concerned well, what that if, I, well, what if I what if I were to put it in neutral instead of park? Oh, that, sure. That would be that would be uh, half as bad. Half as bad. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. You could start. You could start with that. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So basically, first thing is try to break the habit, and then the second one, try not to break the car. Right. It, it's like it's, 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 <laughs> exactly. So, it. so shifting it into neutral would be the equivalent of like chewing Nicorette gum. <laughs> <laughs> you're not really going to quit, but you're going to try. Gotcha. Okay, well, try that first. All right, I'll try it, guys. Thanks so much for your help. All right, Ben. Good luck, man. Okay, take care. Bye. <laughs> but it, Bye. May, it may be that if he if he stops doing this, he's going to do some stuff that really ticks his wife off. Yeah. yeah cause he, he, and there's no way to tell that. No, your wife's never able to tell. <laughs> <laughs> 888 car.